Hi, I'm Laurie Shane, a student in the Masters of Data Science program at USF. For my practicum, I'm working with Dima, a senior machine learning scientist at UCSF. The project I'm working on is using multiple instance learning on pathology slides. When it comes to applying computer vision in the medical field, most tasks involve either image classification for a diagnosis or segmentation to identify and separate legends. However, in pathology cancer detection, this is not always possible. Obtaining label is time consuming and labor intensive. Furthermore, a pathology slides can be up to 200K by 100K pixels resolution, and they will not fit in the memory for classification. Down simply normally is not an option because we are trying to detect a tiny area, such as a few dots in the top right image. In this case, we can use multiple instance learning, a weekly supervised learning method that takes a set of label bags containing many instances instead of receiving a set of label instances. Now we have slides and the label for each slide. We can divide each slide into tiles and only process a few tiles at a time on GPU. In our case, one slide is a bag and the tiles are instances. Here is a brief problem statement for multiple instance learning. So each instance xi in one bag has an instance label yi. We define the label for the bag if the instance labels are all zeros, then the bag label is zero. If there's one instance label being one, then the bag label is one. By using multiple instance learning, doctors don't need to segment individual cells or label each tile. We are able to save the labeling effort and leverage weekly label data. I've been working on two data sets, Camline 17 and Panda Challenge. Camline 17 is a set of uh, pathology slides of breast cancer. There are a thousand slides from five medical centers. The annotations are labeled by doctors telling us the coordinate of the cancer cells. Then we can use slide sizer to map the detected cancer cell based on the coordinate system. Um, on the, the image on the right, all the color marks are the coordinates that we have from XML file that doctors annotated for us, and we use slide slicer to map those onto original slide. The goal for this project is to predict metastasis or normal on slide level, and even further to predict metastasis or normal on patient level. So this is a nested a multiple instance learning problem. Panda challenge is a set of pathology slides on prostate cancer. There are 11,000 slides from two sources. Unlike the annotation for Camline 17, the annotation for Panda is stored in TIFF format. The image on the top right, top left is the original slide and the one with the green dots on the right is the mask. All the information of cancer cells are stored uh, in the mask. In this particular case, are stored in the red channel of the mask. If you look at the image on the bottom, the, the circle area are areas contain cancer cells, and each of them has a Gleason score, showing how severe they are. For this data source, 0, 1, 2 are backgrounds, non-tissue and normal cells. Three, four, five are cancer cells with different uh, severities. And the other source only has uh, three levels. So that's a problem that we need to figure it out later. And there is a conversion table, convert the Gleason pattern in one slide into ISUP grade, which is the slide label. For this uh, problem, for this project, we want to detect uh, cancer cells on each slide and also to estimate severity based on Gleason score, meaning that we want to know the ratio of each Gleason score in one slide. Here is a pipeline for the real life examples. First, we want to divide the data into pre-trained and trained set. 
we use SciSizer to process the files, divide the tiles, and give a label to each tile. Then we pre-train model on pre-train set and save the model, extract the features from the last layer, and we use the features and the mod point instance learning model on the train set. Then we do the evaluation. Since pathology slides are very hard to deal with because they are very big, and so we decided to use MNIST dataset to, as a toy example, to make uh, everything work first. So MNIST dataset is a set of images of handwritten digits. Each image has a label from zero to nine. First, we create the MIL MNIST toy dataset by randomly assigning uh, images into a bag. Each bag has three to seven uh, items. If the bag has uh, instance label one, then the bag label is one. If all the instance in the bag are from zero to nine, but not one, then the bag label is zero. Then we do, then we pre-train on the pre-train set and we uh, get features, save the model, get features and map the bag indices with features and get the bag features like the bottom right. It's a dictionary format and the keys are the bag indices and the features uh, and the values are the features. Here comes to the multiple instance learning model. If you look at the image, the left half is what we did on the pre trained part. And after we get the feature, we have three transformations to do. The first transformation is for us to find a way to represent complex data by using low dimensionality data. And then we pass the vector, the embedding, through a aggregation function after that, we transform back into the bag probability to get the bag label. The, uh, the last two transformations are optimizable so that the model can learn from the parameters in order to improve the result. The result for MNIST dataset is 99% accuracy, which is pretty good. And I posted a blog post for me, uh, MIL on MNIST dataset with end-to-end -end Drupal notebook on Medium. If you're interested, please check it out. And if you have any questions, please ask me. Thank you.